So, now that it has pretty much been confirmed that there are some free seats at the table at Warner Brothers, I'd like to throw my hat into the ring. Hi y'all, Snarky J Cosplay here. So this week it has pretty much been confirmed that all our DC stars from the DCEU are no more, and there is nobody coming back from the original Zack Snyder Justice League cast for the new reboot. They are all gone, and we are going to start seeing some recasting very soon. Before I delve any deeper into the topic of this video, allow me to tell you a little bit more about what you need to do to win one of these Snarky J 2024-2025 calendars. That's right, folks, this is your calendar giveaway video. I will be giving away two of these babies, and all you need to do to win is leave a comment down below. Do not leave multiple comments, don't spam, I won't count duplicates. Leave a comment and you will be automatically entered to win. Unfortunately, I can only do US shipping, so if you are outside of the US, I'm so sorry, I cannot send this out to you. I will be using a random comment picker to select two winners. So next week, October the 18th, that Wednesday, the video that comes out that day, that's where we'll get to find out who the proud winner of two Snarky J Cosplay 2024-2025 calendars will be. So make sure you're subscribed and drop a comment to enter for your chance to win. I'm so excited for this. I'm super grateful for y'all's support and I'm definitely excited to see who is going to win two of these. In an article about all the drama relating to Aquaman 2, Variety dropped an important nugget of information that according to them, none of these stars are going to be coming back to reprise their roles in the new reboot. Of course, we knew that Henry Cavill and Ben Affleck were out, but there was some doubt when it came to everybody else, and now it's pretty much confirmed. The former DCEU gave us a lot of things. When it came to Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman, we got... Kal-El, no! Henry Cavill's iconic Superman with the... A man on you used to say that hope is like your car keys. Of course, who could forget about Ben Affleck's fabulous Dark Knight Returns Batman? Why did you say that, Dad? Jason Momoa was the Aquaman we didn't know we needed. She's a mister. Ray Fisher, who spent all that time getting harassed by Joss Whedon for this. Couldn't do that last night. And then there was Ezra Miller, and I, I, I'm not even I'm not even going to talk about that one. I'm just being petty. We have gotten some really good performances and really great stuff from all of these people. And of course, honestly, it seems really unfair the way this has all worked out. Henry Cavill was so excited to come back and play Superman after that cameo at the end of Black Adam, only to have to come out and basically say, like, never mind. <laughs> Never mind, I got fired. That was really confusing, I'm sure, for him and for fans alike. Of course, just recently, I made a video about Gal Gadot coming out and mentioning that she was literally told by execs at Warner Brothers Studios that they were going to be working on Wonder Woman 3 with her. From what? I heard from James and from Peter is that we're gonna develop a Wonder Woman 3 together. And now of course she's no longer involved. So either that was lip service from her or she was lied to. You mean you were lying? There's a lot of speculation about Jason Momoa coming back in Superman Legacy or a future project to play Lobo. I don't see Warner Brothers doing anything with Lobo because he's even worse than Deadpool and the world is way too sensitive for him. I will say that the best parts of the former DCEU for me were Henry Cavill as Superman and Ben Affleck as Batman. Despite the fact that I wasn't a huge fan of Snyder's approach to either of these characters, especially Batman, I do think Ben Affleck played a great Bruce Wayne. And I really, really liked what Henry Cavill brought to the role of Superman because the guy really loved the character and really got him. And I think losing him in that role really means a lot for the future of the character. I 100% believe that Warner Brothers and DC have completely mismanaged the casting choices and the handling of the casting choices for these characters. And I think even worse, they've done a terrible job for PR when it comes to these people. Henry Cavill getting high hired and then fired and rehired and fired again and all of this literally happening like on Instagram was incredibly embarrassing and it also just looks bad for them as a brand. It looks bad when Gal Gadot is coming out saying that she's staying on as Wonder Woman but really that just seemed like a load of bullshit. It honestly ruins my hope for where exactly the DCEU is going moving forward. But to be honest, I don't think this recasting is all that bad. 
for the reboot to work, if we were getting rid of Batman and Superman, we had to clean the slate. Everybody else had to go. And I don't think it's a secret for those of you that know me or this channel that I don't really think we're losing anything all that relevant with the others. Ezra Miller's a f***ing menace, so I'm not even gonna talk about what he brought to the character of Barry Allen, because all he brought was, like, drama. Jason Momoa, if the rumors are true, I think is much better suited to playing a character like Lobo than he has been in playing Aquaman slash Arthur Curry. I know Ray Fisher doesn't really get enough credit, but I thought he actually did a good job as Cyborg, so I really don't have any complaints about him. And I know everybody thinks it's petty, but I have never thought that Gal Gadot was the right choice for Wonder Woman. I've never thought that she had the right look. She's never had the acting chops. I would give anything to see somebody else who really understands the character and definitely doesn't just look like a supermodel play that character. She is so important to me and I would love to see somebody really take on that role. I know that once again my comment section is likely going to be filled with people going, you're just mad that you're ugly and nobody asked you to play Wonder Woman. First of all, I'm not mad that I'm ugly. I'm well aware that Gal Gadot is better looking than me, but that's not what this is about. I really like Wonder Woman and I want to see somebody else take on the role. So you know what? Let's get some new people. Let's get some auditions going. Let's get some new people in these roles. Let's get somebody else to carry that lasso. And while we're at it, this is the part of the video where I try to get a job over at DC. This is my Donna Troy costume. I'm not tall enough to be Wonder Woman, but I can be Wonder Girl. I'll be waiting for a phone call or an email. Anybody at Warner Brothers that's watching this, get at me, please. All jokes aside, even though that definitely wasn't a joke, I think the fact that they're wiping the slate clean when it comes to Warner Brothers and DC is the best thing we could see. We're gonna be free of all this baggage from the former DCU. Nobody's gonna be looking at these characters and remembering those awful mistakes from past movies anymore. I think we're definitely moving in the right direction. So let's keep our fingers crossed that James Gunn doesn't stick his grubby little fingers in our projects and just f*** them all up for us. Let's get some good casting in and let's see where DC moves and hope that one day we're not just begging for Universal to buy it from Warner Brothers and we actually get some content that we actually want. And that's all from me. I've been Snarky J. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. For more Snarky J, be sure to follow me on Instagram. And if you'd like to support my content creation, feel free to check out my Patreon. I will add links to both in the description below. And for this video's comments section, let me know your thoughts on these recastings and make sure you leave a comment if you'd like to be entered to win one of the 2024-2025 calendars that I have available.